Joko back with another video. Um, my hair was purple, and you know I wasn't doing nothing today, so I was like, why not just do like a makeup look? So I decided to do this three-dimensional makeup look, and I think it is popping. Like, what's up? So I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll list all the details below. Like and subscribe. Check me out. What's up? Okay, so first we're gonna start with the matte concealer in NC45. Um, I'm using this as my base, but it's not that bright and I wish I had a brighter base, but literally all my good makeup, all my good bright base and stuff like that is at my shop. So today we're just going to have to go with my highlighting color and that's the NC45 in the matte concealer. So we put it on both eyes, which you do the one eye member, you always do it to the other. Then I take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend my concealer out that's on my eyes just to get a real good base, flat base. I'm going to make sure everything is blended out. So we're going to go in with this purple color on my Morphe palette and we're just going to go literally in the crease. So I basically start below my crease line and I place the color there and then I just blend it out and go above as I go, go up as I go to blend out my crease. Just so we don't get the color like over the crease or like too high up to the brow bone because that's going to be our transitioning, where our transitioning goes. So I just pack that color on and blend it out. What you do to one side, I always remember you do it the other. You notice I blend upwards. Then we're gonna go in with this like puce plum shade and we're just gonna go over the crease and that's just gonna transition, that's gonna warm up our colors and set our colors up. So I just lightly, lightly, lightly dip my brush and I just blend the harsh edges of the covers, color that we previously placed and blend it all out. You gotta blend for your life. So I'm going with my Suzanne palette, so Suzanne palette with this little dimensional purple color and we're just going to place that all over the lid, that's going to be our lid color, I'm not doing too many colors over my lid, I just thought I should just go in and I love how it just sets, the color is just so pure, had it been a brighter base y'all, a better base, P. Louise, something like that, this, this eye color would have been popping. And I'm just going to go back with that same brush that we used the first time for our crease color. So just blend everything back out. Everything that was covered, we blend it back out with that brush. I put tape just to do my eyeliner. One day I'm going to do an eyeliner video, but I, I need tape. I use tape so I can get my perfect wing. Just let that wing go. I didn't really care to show y'all how I do my wings yet. Because on camera, it never comes out good. But the, um... Liner that I'm using today is the NYX lip liner and it is new crap like the tip that tip is something serious that is the new crap so we remove the tape we don't have to clean nothing up because that tape makes your ankles good. We have our new, my new lashes for my new lash line, Mink Me Out. Coming to the stores near you. 25mm lashes, girl. Look how I fly away. It makes it like butterflies. Y'all come shop with me once I get the lash on. 
So we're gonna use my matte Maybelline. You no, know, I think that's wet and wild. Make it stay, yeah. Primer, and we're gonna just prime our face, prime everywhere. Make sure that primer gets into the skin. Now we're gonna go in with the Lori, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'll just put this all over my face or not or my T-zones where I get oily because I get really oily. So this helps control the oil. It makes me mattify. Because I get really oily in those areas. For my foundation, you already know my Maybelline Fit Me in Warm Coconut. I believe the number is 356. Maybelline is like my best friend. It's Maybelline and then it's NARS. If it's not NARS, it's Maybelline. So I use my Morphe Setting Spray and I just set my flat brush and I just blend everything into my face. That flat brush gets the job done because it just seeps everything in. And I just got a facial, so my make my face soaked it up. We going back with the NC45 and that's what I use to highlight under my eyes my forehead and my chin my beauty keep in mind my beauty blender is wet i cannot use a dry beauty blender when your beauty blender is wet it soaks up the product so good and it helps move the product I'm going in my forehead Our lip creases, and we, we just blend it out. When your forehead big, so you gotta minimize the highlight and go in depth with the contour that's me i have a big head so i'm going to use my shatcha buttercup um highlighting powder setting powder whatever you want to call it and i love Sacha because it has a yellow tint and i just love what it does to my face like it gets it restores color back to my into my face but if you're not careful if you leave it on too long if you set too long it'll turn you yellow honey beyond yellow but you really gotta leave it on really long notice how it just helps cut my face in the areas that are not covered with the sasha in the areas that i'm going to contour with it already does the job and sets my face for my contour i use the black radiance pressed powder i just go on my cheekbones everywhere that's not highlighted contour goes on me I don't know if you could tell, but I went a little far down on my cheekbone when I was contouring. But hey, I guess I'm gonna have some cut cheeks. Like, <laughs> put on my forehead to minimize the shape of my head and the bridge of my nose. Honey, you wanna get that surgical nose, that Dr. Miami nose. Snatch that nose up. Why do I have to look so serious all the time? Like, girl smile what are you so mad about but can you guys see the different shape of the nose now that the contour is on there that's the importance of contour you just minimize if all your features that are like not popping <laughs> i don't be knowing the words so now it's time to dust away the setting powder and I just use a big powder brush and just wipe away. But as I'm wiping away, I'm tapping it into the skin so it could just set and that color could somewhat be there. But you wanna make sure you wipe away and blend out as you go. So now I go in with my MAC. Um, pressed powder studio fix and um, I usually use this I use this after everything after every client that I do after me it just restores that color back to your face 
and it just like basically helps blend everything back in so we're going back with that purple that we used in the crease and we're just going to do that on my waterline just to like shape up and darken and like add some more dramatics to the eye look and then we're going to use the iron la pro girl. i think it's la pro girl it came out with a color liner and just put that turquoise liner by the way it's my favorite color in my waterline mascara to have the bottom lashes popping and my crayon case i just recently started using this um highlight it's called glowing from crayon case and i normally don't like loose highlight i thought it was going to give me like a fancy vibe i hate having glitter all over my face but no this is more on the thicker end and it's like it looks more like highlight and less glitter rather than fencing so we're gonna take our LA Colors um, lip liner. Y'all know I love my plum lip. And we're gonna line these little lips. I cannot wait to get lip fillers, y'all. I just really want my lips to be bigger. It's no fun. I blend. I don't have my smudger, so I use a Q-tip to blend the liner out prior to putting on my lipstick. For my lipstick, we're going to use the MAC Snob. This is my go-to color when I do my plum lip. Oh my God, Snob is cracked. As you can see, I'm almost running out. Blend some more, blend some more. Alright, I think it's blended out. A little more lipstick. Okay, girl, we get it. Alright, blend it out again. Could never be too blended, honey. And then my butter gloss. I put my butter gloss over everything just to add some pop into the lip color. Oh my god, Urban Decay All Night of This is my favorite. We use it to set the spray and then boom. We are all done. So this is the look. This is the outcome. I hope you guys like it. I did everything step by step for you. Everything was filmed on camera down to the liner. I don't even film my liner on camera. But I hope you guys love this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Always make sure you hit that thumbs up. Because if you thumbs down me, I ain't going to do nothing. But it's like, why are you so mad? What are you so mad about? But you guys follow me on all my social media handles. At Joko the Stylist. I love you guys. Be blessed. And God is love. Hard, hard, my mind of mine.